Hey there everyone, time for another food video. This is my red pear, delicious red pear, my favorite. Uh, picked it up at the grocery store, it looks so good for scanning. Beautiful color. This is the video I did before I did the scan. This is the first scan. I had to do it in multiple stages, multiple scans, because I couldn't track enough detail to do it in the conventional way with the pausing and rescanning and that. So I did it in, uh, I think, six different scans. Then I put them into Handy Studio, which may not have been the right thing to do. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do this, you know, my workflow. But uh, I clipped them and took off all the rough edges, the nasty things that uh, I'd have to clean up later probably. And the way I've always done it is to do the best scans I can and put them together the best I can for minimal post-processing because I don't know how to do it. But I'm trying to learn, and this is my second good experience with MeshLab. Uh, the first one was that persimmon that I did a while back. This pear, I've been uh, wanting to do this for some time. I did it back on December 8th. Uh, just now took the time to piece it together, and, uh, well, actually, I've done several attempts to piece it together but my software skills aren't good enough yet I kept that label so that sooner or later I might be able to make you know I have all the fuses so I uh, might be able to make that label legible later that would be pretty neat but these are what I got I put them together like I said in, stu in uh, handy studio then I brought them into mesh lab and I just poked around and did the little default items one at a time and had to back up a few times and reload but this is what I got after Handy Studio and this thing has a huge number of vertices and faces uh, geez 2,595,449 vertices and 5,190,872 faces now this is the decimated version all the way down to 56,097 vertices and 112,920 faces. Wow. I don't know what I did, but I'm still learning, and I hope to do some more, and I hope to do this even better the next time I try. But I hope it does some good for you guys, and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.